So today, we're going to answer a very simple question, and that is, how far should me or you or anyone take the club back? Well, it varies as to your physical condition and age, what have you, because you want to keep your spine angle and head in the game. I mean, a lot of videos say, oh, flush your irons every shot. Hit the ball pure every shot. Nobody hits the ball pure and flushes it every shot. The pros don't. They come close, but sometimes because of the difficulty of our shot or the wind conditions or the, the way we're feeling that day, sometimes we miss shots. That's fine. But don't miss a shot because you're over swinging. I mean, some of us are very flexible. John Daly, Ben Hogan could go over here. Most of us cannot, especially if we're a bit older or we've had an injury or we've lost some of our flexibility. So where do you stop? How do you figure that out? That's what we're going to deal with today. And once you figure out how far your club should go back, you'll start hitting it pure. Not all the time but a pretty good percentage of the time. But come right back and we'll get into how far you as an individual should take the club back. There are a lot of young people giving lessons out there and they have beautiful swings. But one thing they say, a lot of them is to take it back low and use this left arm as a rubber band. All right, so then it comes in back. No, if you don't have flexibility, you can't use this left arm as a rubber band, meaning you can't stretch out the left arm or stretch away from the ball to get more distance. I just saw a video this morning, stretch away from the ball to get more distance. No. And then you wonder why people are stretching and then they're coming like this because if you stretch too much with your left arm, what's gonna come down first? Your left arm and you're not gonna have your legs into the shot. What you need to happen is the legs have to come first and then you hit, right? So don't stretch your left arm like it's a rubber band. I have an earlier video, very popular video, where Nick Faldo goes into soft arming it. Just keep the left hand, left arm soft like this, and just hit it like that. Perfect shot, okay? So, but how do you know? where to stop in your swing. Well, there's a very easy drill you can do, and that is grab the club with your lead hand, put your right hand underneath, and just lift the club up and turn with your shoulders. Now, you're not pulling this arm at all. You're just seeing how far it will go. So for me, that goes about there. That's it. That's what I got. If I go any further, if I go any further than this, I'm going to have to get back further by lifting everything up, you know, even my, sh my left heel off the ground. And to get back to the ball is going to make it very difficult. So basically, just pick up the club, turn without any tension on your left arm, pick it up turn and see where you are that's fine in other words instead of swinging let me get a ball if instead of swinging with using your left arm as a rubber band and then stretching it out and you have nowhere to go think of terms of 
swinging with the left shoulder. So instead of stretching it, let the left shoulder swing the shot. So I'm not thinking left arm, I'm thinking left shoulder, see? Left shoulder. Same thing, except the left shoulder's doing all the work. And I'm not putting the pressure on the left arm. Let's see how this works. Okay. Not bad. So I'm letting the left shoulder hit the shot, not stretching a rubber band out there. Because if you let your left shoulder hit the shot and turn with it, then you're ready to come in on plane and hit the shot straight. Whereas if you're so stretched out, you don't know what to do. You're gonna, sure you're gonna come like that. Don't put pressure on your left arm if, if you don't have the flexibility to do so. Now, if you're a flexible 20-year-old kid, then you can go, by all means. Or if you're older and you're stretching your left arm and you're killing it, well, geez, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But a lot of people are trying for this imaginary stretch 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 because i want to be like a pro on tv and they're just losing their downswing so again just get up i think in terms of swinging with your left shoulder no tension on the arms just like that That's a drill, not a hit, it's a drill. Again, pick the club up, shoulder, that's better. Till you get used to swinging with, not a bent left arm, just not a stressful left arm. And if you notice, not everyone, even on the tour, use a stressful left arm. There are a few guys that if you watch carefully, are not putting pressure on their left arm. See, it's easy to keep the swing plane. It's easy to swing. And you put the Put the pressure off your wrists and hands so you'll be able to release down at the ball where you should be releasing. I got a driver now. Same thing. Just let the shoulder do the work. Let the shoulder do the work. Right? Just let. Hey. Little jaw. Let the shoulder do the work. Not the left arm. Stretched out. To the point where you're locked. Just let everything move, no tension. Now, you got tension in your midsection a little bit, and you got tension from what you've done with your pivot. That gets you back. Plus, good old fashioned rhythm. I'm telling you, don't, if you don't have the flexibility, don't do this and destroy your swing you'll you'll notice immediately that when you take the club back with a loose shoulder and loose left arm the first thing that moves 
is your bottom because there's nothing blocking that move, meaning all the stiffness up here from stretching out. That's easy. Make the game enjoyable. Just go out and just smooth one out, just like this. And believe it or not, once you get used to this method, you'll be able to put your foot on the gas coming down and get some extra yardage if you need to. I guarantee it.